we are here again to figure out that one question that have we have been investigating into. And that question is, who killed Jesus? On the suspect board so far was the Jews during that time period and Barabbas, who was a murderer that caused an insurrection against Rome. Today, we are going to narrow this search down so that we can close this cold case. And looking into the files of eyewitness during the time, it was hard for me to answer this question. So I had to call up for some backup. A person I feel that could assist me with this investigation. A professional who had been studying the files that has a fresh set of eyes on this same question. So I called up my pastor, the Reverend P.T. Morgan, to interview him on this question. Let's, let us listen to what he claims the Bible says about this question. Here it is. Hello, pastor. I pray that all is well with you. Everything's going well. I hope it is with you. Could you share with us what the Bible states to answer this question of who killed Jesus? You see, that question right there is a loaded question. And we have to be able to break this down into parts. The first thing, we have to understand that the Jews during that time didn't fully understand what Jesus was all about. See, Jesus answers the question of his purpose to Pilate, according to the Gospel of John, by telling Pilate that he came to testify to the truth. And if Jesus came to testify to the truth, then the people did not know what the truth was. It was by the truth that Jesus was crucified, meaning killed. The people knew that Jesus was going to save them, but they thought how he was going to do that was going to take down the Roman Empire. Now, the divine plan of God was that by the truth being shared, the result would lead to Jesus dying on the cross. But to answer the question of who killed Jesus, we have to see the effect of the result of Jesus testifying to the truth. You see, the result of that was Jesus died on the cross for the sins of the world. Now listen to that phrase of sins of the world. Sins meaning missing the mark on God's will. Hmm. So now comes the question of what is God's will for an individual? Well, to answer that part, an individual has to discover what that is by reading and studying the Word of God, which is the Bible, and praying to God. And through these actions, that will lead to the result of God's will for that same individual. Let me explain it like this. A, a person who just receives something like a new a new car, a new iPhone, or any kind of electronic devices, or a toy, whatever it may be, they wouldn't be able to understand the fullness of what they have unless they read the manual that contains the information about the item. It's quite simple. Now, the other part of answering the question of who killed Jesus has to be directed to the people who has sinned. And will sin. Now, according to Rome, Romans chapter 3, verses 23 and 24, it says, since all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, they are now justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. That passage right there now shares with us that we have sinned 
but we are justified through Jesus dying on the cross. But here's the thing. By the result of Jesus sharing the truth about his father led to Jesus dying for all our sins, Jesus was not killed by no humans. <laughs> but this answer will surprise you. Jesus was killed by God the Father. By the wrath of God, the wrath of God was placed on his son because all of the burdens of sin were on him, Jesus. You see, the sting of sin was destroyed all at once, at that moment, on the cross. But I, I would... Uh, I would close this by saying this. This is not a cold case. No, this is not a cold case. Because you know that a cold case means that someone is dead. Now, I know that this Sunday, Christian churches all over the world will be celebrating the update to this question. Find you a church to hear the update. Amen. <laughs>